Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Back again with another review. Today I'm taking a look at this uh, Litmore battery camera. So this is a uh, wire free, it doesn't require any hub or anything like that. So just taking a look at the side here, some of the features. So we have 100% wireless, 125 degree field of view, 1080p HD video quality, 90 lumen spotlight, two way talk and uh, 106 dB built in siren as well and customized motion zone, color night vision, and weatherproof. So it has quite a few things. Also, you're able to control this uh, via like Alexa and Google Assistant and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up and uh, see what we have inside. So first thing we see here, we have a manual here, read me before use, and we're gonna take a look at that after. And the camera itself here. First thing, this thing is like huge. Um, I'm gonna compare it with uh, some other cameras. Uh, so let's put that down for now. And let's see what else we have here. And in this uh, little package, uh, we should have the micro USB cable and some mounting screws here. And there's one more thing hiding. And we also got some uh, double-sided tape here if you want to mount the unit here. So just a quick comparison. I have the Blink camera here and this is like a, a, a huge ball here. Uh, probably because it has some uh, good batteries inside. We're going to go ahead and open it after. And just take a look at the mount here. You're able to take this out if you don't want to use it. And there's also like a tripod mounting place here as well. So, but if you want to use this to mount uh, with the screws or just with a double sided tape, you can just like push it in there and you can like rotate it any way you want to, which works pretty cool actually. This is a nice piece here. And let's go ahead and unlock this and see what we have inside. So pretty much just to open it, uh, just put it at the unlock and pull this off. And we do have two huge batteries in here, which are rechargeable of course. That's the good part. And let's just uh, go ahead and take the batteries out for a second. So looking at the front here, we got a nice lens in there, pretty big here, and also a motion sensor as well. And the two lights here, which uh, look very cool here. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and install the Litmore app and uh, connect this and see what we can do. And after I'm gonna also show some footage uh, during nighttime and uh, daytime, uh, just see the quality of this. Alrighty, so I do have the app installed here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the plus button here and uh, let's see what it tells us to do next. So it's telling me to scan the QR code and that is inside the little ball here. So just take that part off and we do have the QR code here. I'm just gonna go ahead and scan it. So right now it's just asking me to give it a name here. And let's go next here. Uh, press the reset button, twist open. So again, I'm gonna have to open it. So it's telling me to go ahead and uh, press the reset button for three seconds until I see a red light blinking because right now I see a green light blinking here. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and you heard there was a little beep and we do have a red light blinking here. So red light flashing. And uh, right now it's asking me to connect it to my Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and do that. So I connect it to my Wi-Fi and it's asking me if it, the green light is flashing. So let's click that. Perfect, so I've gone ahead and set this up. So it's connected to my Wi-Fi and you can see here it's uh, live and working. Uh, the only thing is, looks like I'm gonna have to charge the battery, uh, but hopefully we can get the, the charge and we can get some footage so I can show you guys. And the quality so far here, I'm able to hear myself. So obviously the two-way audio, it's uh, working. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and make this full screen. So we, nice, we get a nice field of view here, as you see. Looks pretty cool. So let's go back now and see what else we can do here. Okay, so let's just test out what these uh, buttons do at the bottom here. So the phone button, uh, obviously I think that's the two-way audio. So let's just test that out for now. Hello? Hello? So 
So definitely that's the two way audio there and it's very loud. And the, at the bottom here, we do have the recording. So right now it's recording. And I believe this is gonna save directly to my phone. I'm gonna check that out after as well. And if I wanna, yep, so video saved to my album. So that's pretty good. Even if you don't put like any SD card at first, uh, if it gets like a notification, you can just go ahead and click the record there. But I would definitely put uh, an SD card there right away as soon as you get it, a micro SD card that is. And on the this part here, I'm not so sure what this uh, light bulb does here for now. Okay, so that is the alarm and that is pretty loud. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play it once more. So that is definitely very loud. Um, so that's the that's a good part there. So let's just go to the settings menu. I just want to see what kind of settings we have here. So device name, live view. So battery saving mode. So live view will be automatically turned off in 10 seconds. So every time 10 seconds, it will ask you to continue if you want to continue viewing the live mode and lights. So spotlight indicator light. Um, so that is on. So I guess I'm going to have to turn off the lights so we can test out the indicator lights, see how that part works. And then we do have it like a schedule, real time notifications, device sharing, so that you're able to add more users there, which is pretty cool. And then Litmore Plus. So here uh, we, I see there's like cloud storage available soon. So I'm assuming that's coming soon and smart alerts as well. And also just scrolling down here, motion detection, sensitivity and siren here. So we do get regular alerts and urgent alert. So, and also the volume, you're able to adjust that as well. That's pretty cool. And talk back volume, uh, you're able to adjust that as well. So there's a quite a few settings here. Uh, definitely this, uh, this is not one of those cheap cameras, like by the look of it, like I'm looking at the app and also just uh, taking a look at the overall camera, the how it's built. It seems like premium quality here, which is very nice. And this is like under hundred uh, US. It's, I believe it's $89. So right now what I'm going to do is update the firmware to the latest version, also recharge the battery. And then we're gonna go ahead and get some footage, see how that looks like. So my final thoughts on this uh, Litmore battery camera. Uh, the good thing is this is like pretty big, so definitely the batteries are going to last. And the way the mounting works, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not like other cameras that I've seen before. So if you wanna use the this one to mount it anywhere with screws or just uh, the double-sided tape, you can do that. Or you can just take it off and uh, put this somewhere as well. It stays there. And it looks nice too. It's like a, it's nice, like a giant ball pretty much here. But the overall quality, um, no complaints there. Um, the siren definitely works out great. And uh, the 1080p camera is good too. The motion sensor and all that works good. And even the spotlight works great as well. So not much complaints there at all. Uh, the only thing is, I wish this was like a little bit more high res uh, than 1080p. It was like 2K or 4K, that's asking a little bit too much. I think it would have made this much, much better. Uh, look at the size of this. Uh, it's definitely worth it because you're getting the big batteries inside and this uh, is also rechargeable as well. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If not, thumbs down. Also, if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn the notifications on. And I will see you guys on the next video.